In this video, I'm going to walk through creating a class on CodeHS and then a dive into some of our specific tools and resources that come with the pro plan. So when you first log into CodeHS, you should be taken right to your sections page of your teacher account. The first time you do this, you won't have any sections yet, but it's really easy to create one. All you need to do is go to this text box. You can type in the name of your class. Hit the blue add button and then uh, from there you'll select that the course you want to teach. Once that's done, you can go ahead and uh, just click on one of your classes. And this will take you to the main landing page for that class. And this is where you also should go to enroll students. At the top of the page, you'll see a code here. Uh, so if you have your students type this full link into their own web browsers, it'll take them to a page where they can uh, fill out a form, create their own account, and then enroll in your section. So that's about all you need to do to initially you know, create your class and get some students enrolled so that they have access to the curriculum. So now that that's done, let's dive into some of the specific pro tools and resources. When you're on the roster page, uh, the first main thing that you'll see here with the pro plan is that you'll have progress bars uh, for each of your students' course completion right on the roster page. So as soon as you pull up the class page, you'll be able to see you know, where are my students at, who's right on track, who might be falling behind and needs some extra help. We have uh, five different progress tracking views in total. One of those is our activity progress tracking view, which I've pulled up here. Uh, is definitely our most you know, granular progress tracking view and really gets down to the specific item within a lesson. So you can see you know, how exactly your students are going about completing the course and where they're at with the course. We have a color-coded heat map here. So you know, to get started, you can know anything that's green means a student has completed that or they've passed the exercise. And uh, anything that's yellow, they've started but they haven't finished yet. And anything that's pink is an item that they've submitted to you and you told them, hey, this needs some work, try it again. So with a quick glance, we can know anything yellow or pink. We're waiting on some kind of action for the student Maybe we want to follow up with them if we're seeing a yellow or a pink item you know, from really early on in the course. This is also a nice place to notice if students are skipping around a bit. Uh, anything that's gray, they haven't started yet. So you know, if we look at Lucas Johnson here, we can see that the second item in a lot of these lessons is gray. So now I know that he's been skipping his quiz and might want to have a word with him about it. Another pro feature is access controls. So this is where you can you know, do exactly that, have a bit more control over what you want your students to access. You can do it at a few different levels. If you want to lock down a whole unit, you can do that. If you want to break up a lesson and have you know, the video available, but you want them to do the exercise in class, you can lock it so that they can't access it until you open it up. And another option is to schedule items. So if you wanted to go through the course and decide which days you want a module to become available, then you can schedule the day that you want it to open up for your students. And uh, if you like, you can schedule a day you would like it to close as well. Grading is another thing that's going to be pretty different, whether you're using the free plan or the pro plan. So either way, you'll go to your code review dashboard here, and uh, this is where you'll be able to find all of your student submissions as they work through the course. A few pro features are uh, accessible right on this page. One of those is queue settings. So queue settings gives you a lot more control over what exactly you want to grade and uh, lets you focus your time on grading the exercises that are important to you. So for every exercise, you can basically decide, yes, I want to grade this, or no, I don't. We have auto graders set up through much of the course, and that's a good opportunity to see you know, what exactly are these auto graders looking for. If they're checking for the same things that you would be, then you can just switch that exercise to no, decide you don't need to take a look at it, and then some that might be a bit more complex, you can have those switch to yes, and have that get to sent to your grading queue after the students get through the auto grader check. And then once you're ready to actually grade those submissions that you've basically opted into, there's a couple ways to do that. And uh, one way with Pro is using FastGrade. 
So FastGrade is actually going to pull up the student's code for that submission right next to the solution code for the exercise. So you can really compare them side by side, quickly determine what grade you want to give. You can attach a feedback message here. And then once you submit the grade, the next one's going to pop right up. So you won't be needing to go you know, back and forth between tabs or opening up 10 tabs at once or anything like that. You'll all be able to do this in one place quickly and easily. Another component to grading on Pro is our automatic gradebook. And there are a couple different settings that you can adjust here to customize the gradebook specifically for your class and how you want grades to be determined. Uh, one of those is changing the expected progress. So this is a great way to keep a you know, live representation of what students' grades are looking like as they go through the course. You can change the expected progress here to uh, you know, whichever exercise or milestone you expect your students to be at. And once we do that, uh, our grades are going to update and the grade distribution down at the bottom will change based on the expected progress you've set for your students. Another setting that you can change here is uh, how you want point values to be determined. So if we click on the configure button here, we have a few different options. You know, we can do things like linear scaling where they just get two points for everything they pass and uh, one point for everything that's that it needs work. Or you can do things like you know, scale it by difficulty so that they're only going to get awarded points if they've passed the exercise and the number of points that they're going to be awarded as you know, changes are as determined by you know, how difficult or time consuming that particular exercise was. And another thing that you can do is actually set your own custom points. So when you're setting custom points, you know, you'll start with the default values that our curriculum team recommends. And then if you hit the edit button here, uh, you can go ahead and make some adjustments there. So if you think, you know, oh, this exercise should really be worth three points and uh, I would make this one worth four instead of five. You can make those updates and right away, the gradebook is going to update with those changes and reflect the new point values. Once you're ready at the end of the semester or the end of the year to export your grades and upload that to uh, whatever system your school is using, you can go ahead and export to an Excel or a CSV sheet and then uh, upload that to your own school system. Uh, with Pro, we have more than just tools. We have a lot on the resources side as well. Uh, for example, you'll have lesson plans with you know, every lesson for all of our courses. And so I pulled up one of our intro to JavaScript lessons here. When you pull up a lesson plan, uh, the first thing you'll see is an outline of the objective of that lesson. You'll also find an outline of the various activities included there. You can print the quiz if you want students to do that on pen and paper. And you can also jump straight to specific activities. If you wanted to view an example ahead of time and see what that was looking like uh, with the lesson plan, you can jump straight to any activity within that lesson. You'll find the solution references uh, as well as problem guides. So problem guides go about one step further from uh, just giving you the solution code you're actually going to get uh, the motivation behind the exercise and also some common student questions or uh, errors that students run into when they're working on it. So if you find that there's a specific exercise that you know, many students in your class are struggling with, uh, it's very likely that you'll be able to go to the problem guide and you know, find the questions that they've been asking you and how to go about answering those questions or helping out your students with those specific issues. With the lesson plan, you'll also have vocab words, uh, teaching strategies from our curriculum team. You can view the slides to the video and find some discussion questions. And if we scroll up to the top here, uh, you'll find that there are some other resources available. You can jump straight to handouts if you know that you're going to want your students to do some offline work. Uh, this is a great place to look for some additional resources there. And uh, we also have teacher facing handouts so that you'll have one with the answer key filled in on your end. So once you're ready to explore the pro plan, a great place to start that out is just clicking on the toolbox uh, near the top left of your account page. 
And here you'll be able to see all of our tools and resources laid out. And you see there's a couple things that we didn't have time to go over here, like awarding custom badges for your students or uh, setting due dates for exercises, the online textbook. So there's a lot of different things to check out here. I'd recommend getting in touch with our team for a demo and getting set up on a pro trial so that you can test everything out in your own account.